Absolutely, but first, a two decades old art installation is making a comeback in downtown Brooklyn this month. News 12 Shakti Dennis has the story on how the artist behind the project is reimagining iconic street structures to draw attention to the ongoing issue of police brutality. If you lived in New York City before the 2000s, then you probably remember seeing these emergency call boxes on almost every corner. Well, you have to pull the uh you had to pull the box. Most of them are gone now, but this fall, artist Bradley McKellum is bringing six of them back to downtown Brooklyn with a different purpose. A kind of piece of street furniture that was designed to be able to call the police or call the fire department in case of an emergency, and to be able to invert that so that it actually provided a place to listen to those who've been impacted by police violence. Each box tells the story of victims of police brutality through a sequence of audio testimonies by survivors, family members, lawyers, and even police officers. Helping the public rethink and reframe the way they think about policing and the challenges that have always been there. McCallum originally created the public art project back in 1999 in response to the high profile brutality cases of Abner Luima and Amadou Diallo. But after the murder of George Floyd in 2020 and the rise of the Black Lives Matter movement, he dusted off the call boxes and revamped the installation with a grant from the Downtown Brooklyn and Dumbo Art Fund. Hopefully a way of of re-engaging conversations, creating a positive dialogue where we listen to one another um, and really affect change. Whether we agree or disagree, um, let's engage. You can see and hear the testimonies from the six call boxes here at the plaza at 300 Ashland until January. In downtown Brooklyn, I'm Shakti Dennis, News 12.